Hello my lovely Sagittarius, I hope whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Please take the energy that resonates, if it doesn't resonate then please leave it where it is. It's a general love reading for you today Sagittarius. So we're going to speak to our angels. So angel spirit guides, what's the love message for our lovely... Okay, thank you. Ace of Cups, wow. What's the love message for our lovely Sagittarius please? What's the love message for our lovely Sagittarius? Please show me what we need to know. Show me what we need to know. Oh, not Ace of Cups, Ace of Coins. It's still Aces and New Beginnings. So there's going to be a new beginning for you in love. One that's going to be full of abundance and, and love and wealth, I feel here. Yes, Four of Coins. Okay. Okay, something to do with work. Okay, that's too many cards. Thank you. Too many. Okay, one more card. Okay, thank you. And the Three of Cups. Right, okay, so the Ace of Coins here or the Ace of Pentacles is Aces are all about having, sorry, about new beginnings. I feel that you are going to be having a new beginning here. Something to do with wealth, and so, so for some of you, could be doing for your career. Um, you could be meeting someone um, to do with work. I feel that maybe in a networking kind of environment, you might be going on a training course or doing something with work because you started a new job and you've got to do some training and there'll be somebody there that you're going to meet. Okay, you're going to be meeting someone in a workplace environment. I don't even know Wow, okay, I don't even know if you're actually going to be working with this person, but it's training that you need to go and do. And there'll be people from other workplaces, other companies, they're also going to be on that tra same training. And I am feeling like a first aid training course, like you have to go on a first aid train or something along those kind of lines where you have to go on that course for your new job that you've just started or you're about to start. And at that place, you're going to meet somebody. That's for some of you. This is a chance of new beginnings. I feel that maybe you'll be moving away with your job, moving into a new place, maybe changing location for your work. All this that you're going to be, there's something to do with your work. Maybe you're setting up your own business. You're going to be networking. Something to do with your career. And there's a change coming. There's a change in your career, which is going to lead to love. So whatever that res whatever resonates with you there, there's going to be a change in your career that leads to love. So if you are thinking about changing jobs, or you've just, uh, or you're going for interviews right now, or you've just been accepted for a job of some kind, this is going to be a brand new. Um, amazing beginning for you. You've also got the four of coins here. I feel that you have. You hold things very close to your chest. You don't let people really see the real you. I feel that you're going to meet someone and you're going to be still a little bit guarded. You're like, this is, you know, this is my heart and I take care of my heart. I'm not going to let anybody just come in and just, you don't give your heart away easily. That's the energy I'm getting here. You don't give your heart away easily. You keep things very close to your chest here. You, you really get to know someone before you even um, think about sharing your, your heart and your love with someone. But I feel that this new beginning that's going to come in, you are, you're more open to sharing with this person. So as you can see, the light behind him, the light is shining behind him. I feel that that is ignited when you meet this person that's coming into your life. I feel as well for some of you, this new beginning, this new career that you're about to embark on is a pay raise um, and it's giving you a chance to save. I feel that some of you could be moving away with your work, which is going to give you a chance to save extra money. And I feel that that part of your life is starting to come into an into alignment with you now. So therefore, love is now your next thing that you need to get into alignment with. But this person that's coming in, that you're going to meet in some kind of work environment or work training or something, you are going to be, um, this is someone that you are willing, uh, in time, that you're willing to to kind of lower your, your guard down and share your share your heart with. 
I don't like to say give your heart over because like it's our heart, isn't it? It's like it's ours. I feel like it's my heart and I protect my heart better than anybody else does, but I'm willing to share my heart with you. I love that. I'm willing to share my heart with you. That's what, that's this energy. You're going to meet someone in a workplace environment of some, some scenario, 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 scenario. Anyway, it's not important. Um, and you're going to be willing to share your heart with him. You then got the three of cups. Is this going to be something worth celebrating? This is going to be something worth celebrating for you. You are going to be celebrating with friends. You're going to be having a really good, joyful time. I feel that you're going to be meeting new friends as well. Um, I've just got an energy, a download come through as I lifted that three of cups up. If you're in a relationship right now, I feel that it's, um, as a couple, you're going to be getting some um, money. Some money is going to come to you in some way, whether that's inheritance, a pay rise, a win, whatever it is, you're going to be receiving some kind of money because you've been saving for something, a house, getting married, children, whatever it is, dog, you've been saving for something and this new wealth is going to be able to top those savings up for you to be able to celebrate something with your partner. Now, I don't know who that's for, but that came through as I lifted up the three of cups, so I felt like I had to say it. Okay, so let's carry on. So can you clarify the Ace of Coins, please? Can you clarify the Ace of Coins? Can you clarify the Ace of Coins for me, please? Oh, I saved it. Six of Cups. Okay. Oh, and the Moon card. Right, yeah, okay. And can you clarify the Three of Cups for me, please? Thank you. And the Eight of Swords. Wow, okay, what we've got. The King of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. So underneath the Ace of Coins, you've got the Six of Cups. So this new begin, wow, okay. This new beginning, this new wealth could be an inheritance from um, an, a, a relation of some kind that maybe you haven't spoken to in, in a really long time. Um, but you had a connection when you were young and that's where this windfall's come, windfall is coming from, if that's resonating with you. The other energy I got, why I said, wow, this training that you're going to go on or whatever it is in work that you're going to go on, this new thing that you're going to be having to attend, you're going to see someone there that you knew from your past. That you went to school with, you went to, you used to, to work with, whatever it may be, there's someone else on that same training that you already know. And it's like you're reconnecting through that, through that, through that course. It's unexpected. You didn't think that they would be, didn't, you don't, not even thinking of them. They're not even in your mind at the moment. And then you go on this training course, like, yeah, okay, let's get this done. It's boring, whatever, I just got to do it. And then you, you see someone that you used to know years ago, a long time ago, and that is your person. That's the person you're going to connect with. Now, under the four of coins, the protection of your heart, I feel the reason you're protecting your heart is because of the moon card. The moon card is you've had um, past relationships where it wasn't what you thought it was. People have always, I feel that you've had possibly one relationship who was saying all the right things for a long time, but then when you broke up, you saw the real person. You saw the real them and it wasn't who you thought it was. And that's why you now protect your heart so much because you have been hurt so many times by people being fake, by people lying, by people disrespecting and taking away your trust that you don't trust people as much as you should. So you kind of like, I trust you. Okay, I'm getting the energy that you trust people until there's something, until they've done something for you not to trust them. However, because of those experiences, you don't give your heart away easily anymore. People have got to earn it. You, they've really got to earn it. You really protect yourself now. You are one strong character. You're Sagittarius, you're a fire sign anyway, but you really do protect your own energy here. So that's why you protect your heart so much. But this person 
at the moment, uh, to, to start with, is going to show that they aren't that kind of person. And you know that deep down, your intuition is shouting at you like, this is a good egg. This is a good one. This is good. Okay, under the Three of Cups, you've got the Eight of Swords. So here, like, you're going to have things to celebrate. You're going to have things to be joyful for with the Three of Cups. However, with the Eight of Swords here, you you're not allowed you're not allowing yourself to feel that joy because you're waiting for something to go wrong i feel that you are waiting for it to go wrong so you don't you're not letting your guard down you're not enjoying yourself whatsoever you do enjoy yourself but only to a degree you've always got that sense of what's going to happen next every time there's something good there's something bad so to be able to fully enjoy this celebration wherever this celebration is You've got to unrestrict yourself and trust yourself enough to know that if anything is to go wrong, I know myself enough that I can get through it. It's not about what the people are going to do to you. It's about how you can handle it. And you've already gone through some, some terrible things before in your past. And you've come out the other side. So rather than keep your guard up and thinking, what's next, what's next? Just enjoy life. Just un take off the mask. Unrestrict yourself. Be who you are. Just enjoy things enjoy life because what if something does and when it does because that's just life it goes up and down when it comes in you you don't expect it know yourself enough and trust yourself enough that you know you can get past anything because you've done it before now on the bottom of the deck we do have the king of swords so the king of swords is very matter of fact very strong minded very much knows the path that he's going to take he doesn't really take any bullshit he wants to know the facts He's unbiased. He's not kind of like, oh, I'm going to listen to rumours or I'm, I'm gossip. It's like, give me the cold, hard facts. Give me what I need to know. If you can give me evidence and you can prove to me and you can really prove to me that I am, that this is actual fact and not a rumour and not fake or an illusion and then we'll talk and then we'll pay attention and then we'll we'll start giving my heart over more. But I feel that you and this past person that's coming in, you, you're not, you, you don't kind of pussyfoot around a little bit. You're very much matter of fact. You're very much a, um, I, wanna, I want to know, I want to know the truth before I make any decision. So you could have some air sign in your chart and the person that's going to be coming in towards you could be an air sign as well. So Libra, Aquarius and Gemini, if, um, if that's the energy I'm getting here. So let's uh, get a love oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'll just pick those up. Okay, so, wow, sexual union. How honoured... Honour the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Okay, that's for some of you. If you're in a relationship right now, if you're in a relationship right now, then honour the place in one another where you are eternal souls, for there you will find true bliss. I'm not really feeling anything with that card, so I'm just, I'm just going to move on, because I'm not feeling no energy with that. Okay, and you've got look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So if you're feeling, excuse me, if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling um, a bit lost, a bit unsure of why you can't seem to meet meet a, meet someone or why the relationship's not working, you need to go within first. Rather than blame or pass the buck, you need to go within first. Feel like why is that causing me like what's triggered what what is it that's been triggered to make me feel the way i feel and then that's what you need to heal okay you've also got criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform so if you're in a relationship now and you're struggling um with the relationship then i feel that you just need to accept that sometimes you're just going to disagree Sometimes it isn't just going to work out. It isn't going to work out for you. Um, 
what the argument isn't going to work out and you just need to love and accept that it, agree to disagree and move past it but if that's not something that you can feel like you can accept then you need to reassess your relationship and then look inside yourself so i feel this is very much for singles but this these last cards are definitely for if you're in a relationship so ask your angels a question about your love life and we will get an answer from the angel answer oracle card deck um, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe and that notification bell and it will notify every single time I upload a video. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, please do check out the description box below. My link to my Etsy shop, RN Tarot, is there for you and you can book in your personal reading with me there. And if you are on TikTok, again, the link is in the description box below. Do go and check me out on TikTok. Um, I'm over there and I post twice a day. So Angel Spirit, guys, what's the um, answer to Sagittarius's question, please? What's the answer to Sagittarius's question, please? What do they need to know? Okay. Perfect timing. Everything's going to happen in perfect timing. I feel that this situation here, this this new job, this new opportunity that's coming, that's, that's boosting your career, boosting your income, it's happened at the perfect time. You're going to meet this person again, this past person, at this particular event that you're going to go to because it's the perfect time for you to meet. The universe has been shifting and moving things for you to get to this point here. And then on the bottom of the deck, we do have no. So for some of you, the answer to your question is no. Just no. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Sagittarius. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonated with you, then please do drop it in the comment box below. I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.